Hello Solar Family, this is Mubashir from Integra Solar and in this video I'm going to show you how you can update and phase Wi-Fi settings in case if you have changed your Wi-Fi service provider, you have upgraded to NBN or even if you have changed your Wi-Fi password. So I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to update your Wi-Fi settings. So all you need to do first is go back to your switchboard and have a look at this device it's called Enphase Envoy all right so all you need to do is connect press this button so this will activate the Wi-Fi access point and it in your Wi-Fi network list for Android users, you can swipe down like this and click on Wi-Fi. And as you can see, you have one network named as Envoy underscore 017959. So just a quick note, I want you to please write down these last six digits these last six digits are your password for Envoy Wi-Fi login so your one will be different in my case it's 017959 so please write it down safely somewhere so you do need this to enter the password or connect to the Wi-Fi okay just a quick tip you can forget your home Wi-Fi network and please make sure you have this password available or if you remember this password that's great but have it handy because if you forget this network you need that password to connect back to your home Wi-Fi network so it's a quick tip it's not necessary but it is recommended because sometimes it will disconnect and connect back to your home Wi-Fi network as you know the end phase it doesn't have internet so your mobile tries to find the internet so please if you wanna forget this network have your password ready so I will leave it I'll try to connect to Envoy so it's checking the quality of your internet connection and I want to keep Wi-Fi connection it's saying it there is no internet so as we know there is no internet it is just an envoy so click on keep Wi-Fi connection we want to be connected to this envoy open your browser and here you need to type in 172.30.1.1 so this is the local IP address to connect to Enphase Envoy interface. Once you enter this IP address, click enter and you will see the Envoy interface here. Okay, once you are here, I want you to click on Wi-Fi. All right. And here it's gonna ask you for the password of your envoy so it asks you to log in it can take some time so be very patient once you see this screen I want you to enter username as envoy e n v o y okay so that's the username and password as I said it's the last six digits of your envoy network in my case it was 017959 your one will be different okay it's thinking this process is a little bit slow so please be patient it might ask you to log in again as you could see it said it's logged or it put too long to connect so I might have to enter those details again taking time ok 
okay it's taking time so let's click on the back arrow the blue back arrow go back and come back again hopefully it will ask me the username and password so I will enter that quickly and here you go and boy and 017959 sign in here you go so as you can see I am currently connected to Optus but your one may be different it may say disconnected but click on more info and I have this IP address and gave pay IP because I'm currently connected to this network so I'm gonna just forget just in case so it's asking me for confirmation, forget. Okay, it's forgetting my current network. In your case, you can sim simply select the new network, okay? Uh, but let's just forget and then view network. So it will show me the available Wi-Fi network and here I have two Optus 4G um, I want you to select the top one not the 5G one the 2.4G because 2.4G is more stable than 5G for these small devices like you know Wi-Fi uh, solar Wi-Fi and stuff so 2.4G is more stable so I'm gonna select Optus 4G B525-4EE2, not the 5G. All right, once you click on that, it's going to ask you for the home Wi-Fi network. So that's your home Wi-Fi network. Um, as I said in the beginning, please have it handy. You do need it. So enter your home Wi-Fi network. In my case, it's my home Wi-Fi. Oh, it locked me out. All right, let's log in again. Zero one seven nine five nine. You may see this problem, and as I said, it's very tricky and sometimes a pain. Okay, so let's enter the password again. and it says this process may take up to three minutes that's okay it won't but sometime it does so be patient all right so it says successfully connected hit okay and I think you are done really yes it does say connected to Optus 4G B525 for EE and I want you to press disable AP mode so that's the access point of your NY so just disable it otherwise it will disable in 7 hours 51 minutes so I'm gonna hit disable so it won't transmit any signal and click OK it says it will interrupt communication that's okay we don't want to be catered with the envoy anymore so click OK all right so all done just go back to your Wi-Fi settings and connect back to your home Wi-Fi network in my case it's Optus 4G so I'm connected open the enlighten app it will refresh and as you can see I can see all the data just to confirm go to menu at the bottom devices and the top one says NY it says normal that means it's connected just to make sure and as you can see it says connected to enlighten and you have a green tick so that's it all done.
enjoy your end phase enlightenment once again thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video bye for now